Hello and welcome to another episode and welcome to the Citroen Berlingo EV. From the outside there's very little difference between this and the diesel version apart from the J1772 socket just here, the DC Chadamo rapid charging socket which replaces the standard fuel filler just here and this very discreet full electric badge on the back of the van. If you open the back doors The loading space is the same as the standard diesel version, but the payload is down 200 kilograms from about 850 to 630. But there is an added feature here. If you have got something big and long, like a set of ladders, you can do this. Follow me. Plenty more room. Jumping inside, the fit and finish is everything you'd want from a working van. I've driven this Berlingo over 100 miles and I can honestly say it's like driving a car. You've got your standard reach and rake adjustment. The seat height is adjustable, but you have to be quite heavy to get it to work. Yeah, it's not easy. There is a reason I'm doing this review. We've had a number of requests from people asking us to load up a commercial EV and see how it affects the range. So, I'm off to get some wood. I'm fully charged. I've got 71 miles on the gasometer, full of wood. Let's go. I've been driving this for a while and it hasn't got a massive amount of BHP only 66 to be exact, which it doesn't sound like a lot, but what it has got is 200 newton meters of torque, which is amazing when you want to pull off from a standstill, even with that amount of wood in the back. It's got a 24 kilowatt hour pack with a usable 22, and Citroen is saying you can get over 100 miles to one charge, which I think is complete rubbish. We've been getting around 70, and that's with on a cold day with the heater on, and even now actually I think we're probably going to end up around 70 and that's with it fully loaded. So all in all I think this van would be pretty good for somebody who just wants to do local work. Long distances, not so sure. I've just pulled over. I've done 40 miles so far which is just over 50% of the battery and I have to say so far no numbum which is good. I'm averaging 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour which is pretty good considering it is fully loaded. One thing I would change is there's not enough cup holders. There's only two, and they're perfect if you've got a Costa coffee or something like that, but a bottle of water is just no good for them. The other thing I really like is it's got a third seat, and that's only available in the electric model because it's got no transmission tunnel, and it's got a nearly flat floor, which is amazing for accessibility. Right, let's get the other half of the battery emptied. I'm gonna stop talking. driving we've got so used to it in our Tesla and this is comparable it really is good the regen on it is brilliant and you touch the brakes and it's phenomenal it's so effortless I've just had a phone call and James has finished work and I think he's a little bit jealous that I've been driving around for the whole day range testing this so I'm gonna go and pick him up and I think he's gonna join us for the last 21 miles Hello. 
Lovely. You okay? Yeah, I'm here. Alright, thank All right. you. Were you uh, jealous? <laughs> Just had to get in on the action, didn't you? <laughs> I don't know if we have north of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, um, we've got 21 miles left to go, so... How far have we done? 50 miles? Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. It's fully loaded. Jesus. Fully loaded. <sighs> to, the, to the brim, I'm going to say. What are they, trays of bark? Uh, well, there's some trays of bark, mainly logs, oh. bark, kindling. Did Jonathan know you've done this? No. <laughs> we're gonna, we look after yeah. it. Yeah. It'll be nice and clean. Do you want to have a drive? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Do you? If you don't mind. Mm. I want a coffee though. Do you really fancy a quick trip to Mackie's? <laughs> Why not? That's not in a great place, is it? The, what, the uh, gear selector? No, it's not. I don't like it. I have to say, that's one thing I don't like about this Sa van. Saying that, I suppose, I think they do an automatic and I think it is there. I don't like it. It's just, it's just, it feels clunky and in the wrong place to me. Yeah. I think I'm just so used to having a, it here, not here. On the leaf, you have it here. Oh. On most cars, electric cars, you have it around this area, yeah. like there. Oh, your fighter. We're at talk, isn't it? Talk. Even with all the wood in the back. That's, um, that's quite impressive. It's not bad. For the next 21 miles, we drove around aimlessly in an attempt to empty the battery pack. Easier said than done. Having used the van for over a week for shopping, taking Florence to nursery, and everything in between, I was confident I could get 70 miles to a full charge. But I was genuinely sceptical after reading reports that loading an EV can halve the range. However, that wasn't the case. The van performed faultlessly in terms of power and range, and in my opinion would make a fantastic EV for a local tradesman. Rolling onto the driveway now. And there you have it. We're back. 71 miles bang on. 71 miles. We hope you've liked this. We hope it's been useful to anybody considering um, any type of EV van. Um, ask us any questions. If we can answer them, we will. And we'll see you next time. And this is what happens when things don't go to plan. And this very discreet full electric bag. Bleh. It's got a 24 kilowatt hour pack, but a usable 22 kilowatt hours. And Nissan are saying that you can get over 100. Bleh. The DC Chadamo rapid charging socket, which was, replaces the stunt there. If you open the back doors, one thing I would change is there's not enough cup holders. There's only two, and they're perfect if you have got a cost. If, if you open the back doors, God's sake, Kate. I've been driving this for a while and it's not got a massive amount of BHP, only about 60, only about. If you open the back doors, the load space is a. Ah, la, la. Thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the episode. Please remember to like and subscribe and follow us on Twitter at Kate Phantom, and we'll see you next time.